this is a small video um, to let you see how I'm busy with my project uh, with the island of the wizard and how I do the weathering on the wood I hope you can see it maybe too much light out of focus but you can see it I hope so it's a very old wood look it's my uh, way to do it uh, there are hundreds of methods materials but uh, yeah this is how I do it so let's go to the bench and I will show you what steps I do so this is one of the smaller buildings of the diorama I built um, it's a my entrance which collapsed so you can see I did uh, chestnut ink on the beams on top of on the bottom of the yeah on the entrance and the upper is a uh, blend with this oh sorry focus camera please it's natural wood grain from Vallejo it's a very thin uh, paint uh, that's the base one and uh, then I put this on it chestnut ink it's old citadel uh, ink I have and you had a red looking yeah wood color um, but then it's the trick I do you can see you have already made that up close I hope you can see it let's focus camera you can see spots water stains um, and that's the reason I use the ink because it's a lot of water and you get that nice yeah water stains I'm not the so what a really uh, <laughs> original English word for it but you get this look then the next step I do you take or a paint remover like Revell or I use the most parts places uh, this one Hembro decal fix what I do is I take a very thin yeah cotton ball stick I think it's for nail polishing but I use it for this put it in the decal fix um, let's see if we can close it up one moment yes like this I hope you can see it all on camera I put a little places it's a decal I rub it and you can see it's already peeling off the ink do it gentle because if it's too much you scratch all the paint off all the ink and then I use a regular cotton ball make it damp and glide it on not too much and you see it's lighter you have different spots of uh, yeah, more ink and less ink and that's the thing I want to do it I will show you on some beams a little bit then with a dry one you can also do it you can see a dry one gently striped up and down and you can hopefully you can see this <laughs> I hope to zoom it in yes like this this is the first one I did you can see light darker places and on here you see also 
light dark light dark and that's the yeah that's the thing the method I do this I'll do it again a little decal fix from Humbro place it on a few spots where it's a uh, dark a cotton ball gently and stop and um, why uh, I do this it's the first time it's a very yeah, hefty uh, response of it of the decal fix and if you are putting too much or too much pressure with the cotton ball and you straight really yeah all the ink off and you don't have any more of details of the wood so you can better do it twice or three times and that is the look you are looking for uh, instead uh, a thick one and a hard one and it's all gone and you must restart the process um, you can see over here I have uh, a lighter one that is the natural uh, wood from uh, Vallejo color and uh, pigment burnt umber also woodland Tenix make a thick one put it thick on you can see let it dry for a day and with the same method as before put it on a small thick and make some strokes and you can see it becomes lighter then you got the wet or the dry cotton ball stick and you push it damp it and you can see what's happening You get a variance of light and darker places and that's different one you can see as that it's still not done and you can also do it on the top little strokes you can see that you're peeling off also a nice yeah I think a nice wood looking method I not if uh, you have another method or material I will um, use for the wood let me know take it in the description box of the video and I maybe will try it out for another project with wood yeah and uh, the main um, yeah thing that you want to do is uh, do it gentle and do it not too fast take your time and do it not uh, thick in one time better thin and two or three times and you get like this it's just a little shiny for the camera but you can see the difference and then also so I do that uh, on the whole model and all the wood and I will show you this is a piece I did let's focus please yes you can see it different spots different streaks light darker a little browner some highlights it's, it's very shiny in the camera I can see it but in real time it's not so shiny but later on I will uh, coated with a matte uh, varnish 
and also I must paint the nails also and then you have a different contrast color and the next step then it's uh, a little weathering and powders pigments and to make uh, some yeah a moss uh, that kind of stuff and the materials I will use for that is this one and this is the effects from live color you can see it in different steps you put it on and you get a really nice look and also another set of live color is this one and this is what I mean and I'm doing also on the wood not completely over it but on various spots yes I hope uh, you like uh, the video so far um, I will do it uh, some more you can see how I do it um, and I stop talking now uh, so there's coming some music on the background um, if you have any questions or suggestions let me know put them below on the descriptions and uh, watch further how I do it with this piece and uh, see you later have fun bye bye Stopping us, fly without boarding pass. Couldn't catch me, I'll be moving fast. Call me a shooting star.
looking at a shooting star. Got more than a couple of people going mad. I swear they're rooting hard. Tell them I'd be big in a game like she went and got them breast implants. I said I'm moving too fast. Didn't even get a glance. I'm ready to eat up track like I'm seated in a restaurant. If you had swag like mine, you know it's best to flaunt. Yeah, yeah, shoot, 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 shoot